Welcome back to my channel. Got a quick hits video here. We have my favorite three inch quadcopter and we have a multimeter that can do amps. Okay, that's what this quick hits video is about. We're going to do an amp reading on this quadcopter sitting still. We are not doing an amp draw of the motor spooling up and what the what the amp uh, rating is of the motors and everything. We're, we're just measuring the five volt rail from the flight controller. And how many, how many amps is this quadcopter consuming just sitting still? Okay, so if you want to know how to do uh, amp draw on your quadcopter, this is the video for you. You're going to need a multimeter, and you're going to need your quadcopter. You're going to need a lipo, and you're going to need a special harness. And I'm going to go through that with you right now. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is take your quadcopter, set it off to the side, and remove your props. Take them off. We'll get him out of the way and we'll get the props off of there. Now, there's a harness that we have to make. Okay, so you're going to have your, your, two, your two leads that go into your multimeter. Okay, and then you see here we have, this is the male that goes into your quadcopter. And then this is the female that receives your lipo. So as you can see here, this is negative and negative. All right, so we have our XT30. So we have our negative and our negative. Let's see if I can get my fingers out of your way so you can do this yourself. And then you're gonna have your positive and your positive. That's what you're gonna take out to your leads. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug in your common. So you're going to plug in your ground. Okay. And then you're going to plug in to your amp side. Now, keep in mind that this multimeter can only handle 10 amps. If you're measuring just the quadcopter, okay, we just have the quadcopter by itself. All we're doing is measuring how much, what is it drawing sitting still. We're not spooling up the motors. Okay. I don't want to get into that on this video. That... To do a proper amp draw test on a quadcopter with half throttle, uh, to do calculations, you do minimum throttle, quarter throttle, half throttle, uh, you have to have your props on. And to do it properly, I'm not going to do that in the video. I don't want anybody messing themselves up and then saying, well, you know, props off was showing me how to do that. But basically, if you spool these motors up, on a 10 amp circuit, you're probably going to smoke the little fuse inside your your meter and you don't want to do that. If you need to do an amp draw test with the motors running, you need to get a bigger meter that has a 20 amp circuit. Or even a bigger meter, which I'm not going to pull out, is a 50 amp circuit. Okay? So on this test, the only thing we're doing, I'm just showing you how do you do an amp draw test. So we have our specialized little harness that we've made up. We're going to plug in our, our LiPo battery. Okay, so here's our LiPo plugged in. We have a 4S. This quadcopter runs off 4S uh, power. This is the 650 pack that I use for this quadcopter. And then you're going to plug in the other side to your quadcopter. Okay. Sorry, I had to get my transmitter. Because this uh, quadcopter... This... This uh, quadcopter will beep without the transmitter on, so I have to. All right, so now we can plug in our lipo without the thing screaming at us. Okay, so everything has. Uh, kind of milled out, everything's settled down, and we're drawing 0.37. So just over a third of an amp. And I know that the 5 volt rail on this is 2 amp max. So all of my peripherals put together, running uh, my VTX at 200, this thing is only pulling 0.37 amps. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, now obviously... We're not, we're not spooling it up. 
Okay, you see I you see how fast it was? I hit nine amps. Okay. You do not want to spool this up because you'll smoke that little that little dude, that little fuse in there. But that's how you do your amp draw. Okay. Hey, if you got any questions about this, let me know in comments. I hope this helped you out so you can detect how much amperage your 5 volt rail is, is taking on. And you can do this basically with any quadcopter. Um, and just make sure you don't exceed that, that 10 amp fuse inside. Hey, if this, uh, you know, if this video helped you out, you know, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And then subscribe. You know, if you hated it, you give me a thumbs down. It all works. Enjoy the breeze.